You know, I'm turning 30 tomorrow. Did you know that? Well, happy birthday. You know, I was just thinking you don't look a day over 25. Liar. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've just been feeling very stuck lately. Uh, you know, I cannot remember the last time I was surprised by anything. Can you? The last time I was surprised was by you. Well, you know what I mean. I mean, I'm just surprised that we're able to stay good friends. I've been thinking about moving. Maybe Phoenix. I've got an old college friend that lives down there, and she says it's nice. I think the change would do me good. What do you think? Yeah, I think you'll love it down there, because they're square dancing and ten-gallon hats and armadillo hunting. And macho yokels with names like Tex. Okay, not yours. So tell me, what do you think? You think I should go or not? Well, you know, Arizona may seem like a much more exciting place than San Francisco, but it's dangerous down there. At least around here, you got your friends checking out for you. It's dangerous everywhere. I mean, especially here. I mean, did you hear about that co-ed? Someone murdered her in her own bedroom. I didn't hear about that. Who killed her? You know, the newspaper said it might be a serial killer. They gave him some kind of crazy name. I don't know, I, I can't remember what they called him. Well, doesn't that stuff scare you? I mean, I'm a tough guy and it scares me. I appreciate your concern, Tex, but I have been fine on my own for a long time. Looks like the rain's letting up. I'm going home. Got a big date? Oh, yeah. Cary Grant and a pint of hockey dust. Hold me down. See you later. What a schmuck. What? Chelsea was giving you opportunities all evening and you blew every one of them. The same P.I. you are. Well, you wouldn't know a clue if it walked up and punched you in the face. Listen, all I know is, every time I try and ask her out, she turns me down. It's from the distinguished gentleman in the corner. He bought you a bourbon. Oh, good evening, good evening. Gordon Fitzpatrick is my name. Please sit down, sir. You know, I am not in the habit of eavesdropping, but I do believe I heard someone say that you were a private detective. That's right. I'm a licensed private investigator. Oh, delightful. It's a pleasure indeed to meet you. And your name? Murphy. Tex Murphy. Tex Murphy. Well, 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 this is fine. Now listen, let me ask you this, Mr. Tex Murphy. Have you in your work ever had the occasion to seek for a missing person? Sure. I can do that. Well, then perhaps we could do some business. I think we can work something out. My office is just around the corner. The Ritz Hotel. Why don't we go there? I like your office. Oh, yes, the ambiance is very authentic. Reminds me of those, uh, you know, those old detective stories that I used to watch when I was a kid. I'm sure that at any moment, Sam Spade is going to come marching through that door, but then who needs Sam Spade when I've got Tex Murphy standing in front of me? 
Did you always want to be a private eye? As far back as I can remember. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Mr. Thank you, Pat. Yeah. While all the other kids were logged on to Sesame Street Interactive, I was reading Hammett and Chandler. It must be quite an exciting life. Oh, it's got its moments. Don't get me wrong, it's not like the movies. It sure as hell doesn't pay very well. But it suits me. So what can I do for you, Mr. Fitzpatrick? Well, I'm trying to find an old acquaintance of mine, Thomas Malloy, Dr. Thomas Malloy. The last official address for him that I have is the Ritz Hotel. Now, do you happen to know him? Can't say that I do. Well, it's very important that I find him. You know, let me give you a little background. For many years, I was a research scientist and I worked alongside Dr. Malloy. But about 20 years ago, maybe, I guess something like that, our paths diverged and I lost touch with him, and he with me. And then very recently, I saw a photograph of him in a local newspaper. Now, it's a strange thing how time is such a natural equalizer, makes us appreciate the faces from one's past. At any rate, the older gentleman in that photograph is Dr. Malloy. And I contacted the newspaper to find out where the photograph had been taken. It was at the San Francisco Technical University. Well, I hiked right out there, got to the campus, and decided to look the man up and surprise him. Even with that photograph, no one recognized him. No one knew his name. But then I received a strange phone call by a young woman named Sandra. The man I knew as Thomas Malloy, she knew as Tyson Matthews. She seemed quite uncomfortable talking on the vid phone, so I suggested we meet. She never showed up for that appointment. You never heard from her again? You know, it's strange. But this simple, whimsical wish of mine to get together with my old friend has materialized into, I don't know, I feel a sense of impending doom. I fear for the young woman, and I fear for my friend, Dr. Malloy. It sounds interesting. I think I can look into this for you. Thank you. Now, you'll have to refresh my memory. How much... How much is your fee? How does it work? I charge $500 a day. Of course. Plus expenses. Naturally. There, that should be enough to get you started. And here, here somewhere, there you go. I could be reached at that number. I'll be in touch. I feel we're off to a good start. Not Mr. Fitzpatrick. This is the first cash I've had in months. Four grand. I owe Louie 200 bucks, and Rook says I owe him 300. But there should be plenty left over. Yes, sir. Things are definitely looking up. Welcome, guys, to a all new Let's Play. We are playing Tex Murphy Pandora Detective. I am so excited to play this. I'm not gonna lie. I was craving Tex Murphy so much, so much, but finally we get to it. Okay, so let's get started. I did a test recording. Um, just to see mouse-wise if the mouse is going to be an a-hole. Everything's fine. So, new game. So, yeah, Posma. We're going to go Posma. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Do you wish to play to the entertainment level or the game player's level? We recommend that everyone except experienced game players select the entertainment level the first time through. There are hints available on this level as well as the option to bypass the more difficult puzzles. Refer to the hint system. The game player level is very challenging and should be selected only by experienced game players or by players who have already gone through the entertainment level. There are no hints available. 
but instead of 15,000 possible points, there are 4,000. In addition, there are bonus locations and puzzles. Note, both levels have three narrative paths throughout the story, leading to a total of seven combined and seven combined endings. Holy pickle. Holy pickle. Um, we're gonna go entertainment because this is my first time playing Pandora Detective. And yeah, maybe we'll try to get the endings. Uh, I'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, let's hit OK and let's see how this goes. Fitzpatrick didn't give me much to go on. Just the newspaper photo of Malloy and the fact that Malloy stayed here at the Ritz. Then there's that girl Fitzpatrick referred to, Sandra. Maybe I can track her down. Okay. All right. So I I feel sorry for Tex. That that lovely. Oh, we got the cash though. Okay, we got the cash. Oh my God, he ripped the check. I was like, Oh my God, you ripped the check. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, let's go get the items. Um, cause it's been a while. It has been a while. Um, let's see if this is still the, um, credit card he, you know, got. Ah, uh, my trusty electronic shop credit card. The only way to go when you're out of cash. Okay, so it's a Tex Murphy. Okay, I was curious if it was, like, the old one. Um, let's check everything out. Oh, oh yeah, his card. Okay, let's examine. So Fitzpatrick's staying at the Savoy. Guess I can call him on my vid phone if I need to talk with him. Indeed. Um, which, that just disappeared. Okay. Uh, examine this. Okay, so we can look for the old man. And let's look at the 400 grand. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Let's see that again. Let's see that again. Oh. Oh, I did a lot of money. Oh, a lot of money. Anyway, okay. So, it's been a while. Um, I know we have to go to the Ritz Hotel and everything, but it is... Why is... Why is there a zebra? Tex, why do you why do you have a zebra, no less, in his bedroom? We actually never been in Tex's bedroom before. He usually just slept outside. He definitely has upgraded. But why is he a zebra? My parents found this in the attic and sent it to me. I remember the pastoral days of my early youth, riding on my trusty Mount Striper, chasing bank robbers and horse thieves. And all that came to an end one summer afternoon during an electrical storm. The lightning struck a transformer near our home, creating a tremendous power surge. It was after the accident that my brothers and sisters started calling me Tex. Whenever I asked them, they'd just laugh and wink at each other. I never did find out about that nickname. Okay, that's great. That that was very amusing. I, I'm glad it still has this humor, because that, that intro was very dark. Um, look at this. I'll pick up these clothes next time I'm expecting someone else in my bedroom. Yeah, if I had a chance of that. Oh, poor Tex. You definitely need to give it, uh, Gina. Gina, sorry. It's been a while. It has been a while! Oh, okay, let's, let's check everything out. It's my own little attempt at creative horticulture. It's my own little attempt at... This is where I keep the elixirs and potions that help me maintain my boyish good looks. Oh, really, Tex? Well, let's open it. And how do... I... Okay, still the same. Still the same. Oh, he's got clothes. Let's stare at the clothes. I'll pick up these clothes next. Okay, same thing. Okay. Oh, I think the game still does the error. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the same glitch. The nightstands add a pleasant symmetry to my bedroom ensemble. This is where I... This is where I keep. I really. I really need to. Okay. This is where. Oh, I want to open that. Open. Oh, what is this? What? What is this? Dex. Oh my. I had to pick up this playbook issue. Had an interview with my favorite author. Um, what's his name? Yep. I. Oh, Tex. Okay, let's see if I can get all of this. Or it's... No, not again. No! 
<sighs> okay, so yeah, we still have that glitch. We still have that glitch. I totally forgot how to get rid of the glitch. I just had to exit and re-enter the building. Okay, let's let's look at everything. Let's check out this lovely poster. Space Girl Doris. Picture, I should say. With your own form-fitting air suit and come hither smile, I still dream of you and a lunar landing. I should say picture, not poster. Picture. Uh, check this out. Amazingly, I made this horse out of a single coat hanger. Wow. Okay. Uh. I think that's a ceramic dog. It looks like a ceramic dog. I won this athletic supporter trophy in high school. I was the best third string punter in the state. That, that's fantastic text. I'm currently reading the Maltese fruitcake. The family's been passing it around for years. Uh, this is some sort of cool thing. It's a small miniature camel. Ah, the downy fresh hub of my swinging bachelor pad. Very, very nice text. Okay, can we check this cupboard here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba, I do see that. I do see that. I want to interact with. Interact with all that. So let's look at this. This is where I shave my face once a month, come rain or shine. Wow, once a month. Ah, soap on a rope. Grandpa Murphy buys this for all the grandkids every Christmas. Well, good to know he will never lose his soap. Indoor plumbing is one of the many luxuries I try not to take for granted. Okay, let's check out this. This is the certificate and a copy of the check the Mutant League gave me after my last case. I used the cash to expand my office, buy some furniture, and pay off my debts. That left me with four dollars and twelve cents. Okay, so that explains the huge renovation, like bedroom and that. Good for you, Tex. I'll pick up these clothes next time I'm expecting someone else in my bedroom. Okay, fat chance, yeah. Amazingly enough, this space-age cabinet came folded into a packet the size of a Trisket. Cool. I wish I had furniture that could fold into a Trisket size thing. What is this? What the, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? The guy who sold me this Hormonatron said it would make women obsolete in my life. But I can't get it to work. Oh, my. Uh, 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 okay, Tex. Okay, we're going to go to the other room. Let's go in the other room. I guess it is it's lonely. Hey, the office. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, hello, office. Oh, posters and guitar. And I'm assuming he's no longer doing his dance class anymore. If I remember correct in the last one, he was doing it. And then his ex showed up and we had that big scream at the end. This office was a dance studio before I moved in. Yeah, I don't know if you're doing it anymore or not. The credence is not that attractive, but it sure beats the unsightly stain hiding underneath. I'm trying to remember what was hidden. I don't think they mentioned that in the last game. This alien landscape reminds me of the old Star Trek episode where they get that distress call, then Captain Kirk meets that beautiful woman, then he and Spock barely escape, then Kirk makes that funny joke right at the end. Isn't that every Star Trek episode? I, I don't watch the TV series, but that screams every episode, or, like, it sounds weird, but my husband watches a lot of Star Trek, so, yeah, I may have listened in. This is the only pot I allow in my office. Okay, that's good text. Nothing kills these plants, and I ought to know. This is a breathtaking view of Saturn from the imaginary planet Alpha 19. Okay, pretty cool. Um... Oh, he's got a guitar. Oh, does he play the guitar, though? I got this from my grandpa, Audie Murphy. It was signed by Richie Havens. Grandpa said he was the original singing detective. Interesting. This painting always reminds me of something. I'm not sure what. I can say, the only... Well, Hudson Hawk came, comes to mind. I, I can't remember if that was actually a musical movie or if that was just... Yeah, I don't know. It's It's been a while since I've seen that movie. Anywho. I haven't played my phonograph since it destroyed the A-side on my Bill Shatner Sings the Blues LP. Oh my, Bill Shatner Sings the Blues. How interesting. Okay, let's check out these lovely trinkets. This little gem cost me 120 llama cigarette coupons, but I think it's well worth it. Okay. These Gumby figures took third place in my seventh grade sculpting class. This wooden duck represents my ongoing commitment to wildlife preservation. 
The watercolor plate is a lovely reminder of my favorite high school art class. This is an anatomically correct carving of my first pet, Barky. Aww. A collection of my favorite poetry books. Someday, I'm going to read every single one of them. That's my prize collection of Tribbles. Ah! Tribbles! Ah! Oh my god, he's got Tribbles. I'm, su I'm surprised they haven't, you know, multiplied and this place hasn't isn't filled with Tribbles. That's great. That is totally great. Star Trek reference. That's great. <laughs> Yay, Tribbles. Ah, Taco Bob. I've got the most stylish placemats in town. Yes, I don't watch Star Trek, but I know what a Tribble is. So, yes. Anywho. This hot plate will come in handy if I eat anything other than saltines and dog food again. Oh, and, well, no, he ate fish food. Yeah, it was fish food in the first tech. Yeah, I remember, I got pissy at him. Right, fish food. The guy who sold me this said it just might be an unsigned Picasso. It better be, because I paid 30 bucks. I don't think it is. What is this? Eat the rich dog food. A little gamey, but not bad for the price. Interesting. Okay. What's this? I've had this jackknife ever since my Weedlow's days. Okay, well, let's take it. It may be useful. What is this? Rusty the Clown's Fun Book. The only pop-up book in existence with a must-be 18 years or older sticker. Oh, oh my. Well, at least we saw memorabilia of Rusty. I wonder, I wonder if his place is still around. We should really check that out. Couple more cases and I'll have this thing paid for. Then I'll start paying off my student loans. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Took me forever to get this diploma. I had to send in a hundred proofs of purchase from True Detective. The scanner brings back some truly fond memories. I wonder how Trixie's doing. Okay, uh, let's, yeah, let's check out the good old cabinet. The 60-day warranty just ran out on my electronic shop fax machine. It should break down any minute now. Well, let's hope not. We may need that. These drawers contain more worthless stuff than a Walmart bargain bin. Oh, I referenced the Walmart. All right, let's see what's in here. These drawers contain more worthless... Okay, I guess we can't look at the files. Um, try this one. These drawers contain... Okay, let's close. And, yeah. Um, let's check his desk, because I remember his desk brought some fond memories. Oh, he still has a picture of his ex. What the heck, Tex? Why do you have a picture of your ex still? This picture was taken of my ex-wife on her 25th birthday. Yeah, she was gorgeous. Makes me wonder sometimes why we couldn't make it work. Well, there's your answer, Tex. <laughs> my new vid phone is essential to my business. Thank goodness it's easy to operate. Okay, well, we don't need to use that. I don't want to contact the lovely gentleman right away. That's a New York Times bestseller, Men Are Imbeciles, Women Are Erratic. My mom sent this to help me with my love life. I've read the first chapter, and I think the author's a hermaphrodite. Right, let's go get this one. Between my wedding ring and this picture of my ex-wife, Sylvia, I will never, ever forget that women are alien creatures capable of great destruction. Oh, Tex. Guilty as heck. The gripping saga of Lance Knight, the soft-boiled P.I. Lance Knight, eh? Not, not a Gabriel Knight? <laughs> Ritual virility is a guide to scoring with women. Step number one, get rich. I borrowed this magazine on my last trip to the dentist. I've always been crazy for the Miracle Nails model. Okay. With all that these chairs have gone through, I feel like I could write a testimonial to the makers of Scotchgard. Alright, um, what else? I guess, can we look outside? Chandler Avenue recently got a city-funded cleanup. Now the street's darn near clean enough to eat off. Oh cool, they've cleaned- oh, oh good. We don't have to see the filth from the first one. Let's check out this lovely water cooler. See if it brings back memories. This baby's brand new. I had to replace the old one after the, uh, incident. Lord, what a horrible memory. It was a pretty bad memory. Okay, so we got a new water cooler. Fantastic. I'm guessing it works. Okay. Well. Oh, it's got a little cup holder. Oh, it's got little cups. Oh, adorable. 
Okay, let's go get this. This is a definitely new. I had the vestibule added back when I had some cash. I think it uh, adds a touch of class to the place. I have to agree. It, it, it gives you that nice little, like, awning where you can store your shoes and stuff. Um, okay. Well, I wouldn't mind checking the, um, what was it? I entered an exit. Oh, wrong thing. Um, what was it? This door here and that door. I wouldn't mind checking that out. So let's quickly waddle over here. Just, just curiosity. What is this door? This door connects to my rec room. Can we go into the rec room? Oh, we can. Oh, oh, get back in there. All right, let's see his rec room. It's very, oh, wow. Wow. It's, it's nice. Oh, Tex. Oh, Tex, you've, you've done, you've done a lot of good things. Oh. This painting epitomizes my view of women as a gender. Is that a kraken? Must be some sea alien monster. This photo was taken at the last family reunion I attended. God, has it really been 18 years? This is my special storage table. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's check everything else. No matter how many lights I have in a room, there's always space for another lamp. Alright, let's look at this. Anything I could take, I don't want to, like, examine every single thing. Like I want to. Which we might as well. Heck, let's go. A handful of Agatha Christie novels and my secret Aladdin lamp. I'm not planning on dusting that baby until I'm ready to retire. No, oh, Tex. A handful okay. of- Okay, what's this? A stack of Perry Mason paperbacks and some other crap. I mean art. A stack okay, of Perry so Mason- Okay, so every, every shelf has something to interact with. Okay. This is just a bunch of stuff. Stuff and things. These shelves contain some of my most cherished mementos. This is just a- Okay. These shelves contain- A handful of Agatha Christie. This is half of my special Space Pirate Salt and Pepper set. Cool. What is this? I call this painting Bleak Landscape. Alrighty. So, like, holy crap, he's done quite a bit. Like, I'm very surprised. What? It's another beautiful night in the city I love. Like, I'm so surprised, Tex. My favorite base. Like, good for you. Good for you, Tex. You can never have too much shelf space. That's true, you can never have too much shelf space. Most of these computer components were purchased at a yard sale. The only one I've been able to get running is the little laptop on the shelf in front of the chair. This chair just didn't make the cut when I refurbished my office. Yeah, let's check this thing. I'm assuming that's a treadmill? I'm gonna start using this thing just as soon as I get in shape. Yes, yeah, treadmill. Okay. This is a big photo of two horses. Why I have it, why it's actually hanging on my wall, I have no idea. Oh, uh, it's one of my favorites. Bear in a trench coat. About to see this bear in a trench coat. A reproduction of fish and fruit by the mutant surrealistic Saul Dooley. Yeah, check this out. This barbell would provide a great workout if it weren't so darn heavy. Alrighty, so let's see this bear in a trench coat. Oh, it's a bear in a trench coat. And he's being moonful. Oh my. Okay, let's check this stuff out. Most of these computer components okay, were- computer components. He said the laptop works. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I cut this article about Mac Malden out of the newspaper. <laughs> Gives me a good chuckle. Okay, well, let's get it. And let's examine. I cut this thing out of the paper a few days ago. I've known Mac Malden for years. We've worked together on several cases, but I don't know if we're actually friends. We just help each other out occasionally. Okay, well, good to know he's Policeman of the Month. Let's look at the laptop. That's the only computer in the office that works. And let's turn it on. What, what can you show me? Searching for CD. CD not found. Oh, okay, so we need a CD. At least we know we have a computer. Um, okay. Well, you know what, guys? I am going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to start this Let's Play. Hopefully you guys are excited, excited as well. Oh, I can't speak English. That's how excited I am. <laughs> um, as usual, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos as well. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!